Thank you for joining us this evening. I'm Kara Larson. And I'm Naomi Kitt. First tonight at 6, days after a crash in Bixby left his daughter dead, 2 News has new details and body camera video from the arrest of Elliot Binney. You'll remember he's the man accused of leaving his family after their SUV crashed in front of a house. Now, Binney does have an extensive criminal history, mostly traffic related charges dating back more than 20 years, but he's never served jail time. 2 News reporter Samson Tamajani got video of his arrest and went to Binney's home this afternoon. Hands out the windows now! New video from Chicota Police Department shows the moment Elliot Binney was identified and arrested the morning of January 12th at a Flying J gas station. These moments happening just minutes after Chicota Police got word from Bixby Police, they believed Benny, the driver, was in the area. Got two empty bottles of vodka and another pint. Officers searched the suspect's truck, appearing to find alcohol and marijuana. You had your medical marijuana card? I had it. Okay. It's not, I don't have it with me. It's in my wallet. I don't know where my wallet went. Police say Benny later admitted to being the driver in a crash on East 171st Street South the night of January 11th. Bixby police say 16-year-old Shelby Benny was thrown from the family's SUV as it lost control, killing her. Her mother and her two younger siblings were taken to the hospital. The booking report released to 2 News today details what happened after authorities arrived. It says the passenger told police Benny was the driver and they had been arguing. It also says witnesses told police they saw the family's SUV speeding past two vehicles right before the crash. Police mentioned they found, quote, an unsealed bottle of vodka next to the vehicle. Chief Todd Blish says when first responders showed up, Elliot Binney had already left the scene. The driver fled the scene, and we believe he switched vehicles, fled to a, a, a family member's home and switched vehicles and uh, left the area, and we were able to track him electronically. The same booking report says after Binney was given his Miranda rights, he admitted to running off. He also allegedly told detectives he purchased the bottle of vodka and had, quote, drank a gulp of it while driving his family. We visited Benny's home Tuesday. A relative told us he wasn't home and declined comment, telling me they are still in mourning. Benny's bond was set at just over $102,000. The Tulsa County Jail tells us he bonded out Friday, the same day he was booked. The Tulsa County District Attorney's Office says they're awaiting Benny's arrest report from Bixby PD. As soon as they do get it, we're told they'll review the possible charges he'll face. In Tulsa, Samson Tamajani, 2 News, Oklahoma. Thank you, Samson. Now, Benny was originally arrested for first degree manslaughter, leaving the scene of a deadly crash and passing in a no passing zone. You can see the full body cam video. It's on our website, kjrh.com.